Okay. You're not gonna go in your comments for the Linux thing down there. You have this whole thing where you, you know what? Thing. Just click the thread, uh, the thread with the 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 links to the actual thread. Well, I kind of dismissed it when with the whole thing where it says, uh, I I hate to say, but Windows is stable and Linux <laughs> that thing sucks. Aren't you just pissed off of Linux crashing all the effing time? And uh, <laughs> I read that and I just dismissed the rest. <laughs> crashing in Linux or a Unix system doesn't matter. <laughs> you can restart the GUI. Yeah. 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 The Apple does the same thing. It's technically the same. Uh, actually, no, they're not. One's Unix, one's Linux. So... Actually, UI on... On top of a shell. Noise 10, that's Coco failing, and no, there's no restarting of Coco. Yeah. Yeah, there's no restarting. Well, that's yeah. if the uh, operating system, uh, the whole operating system fails. No, no, no. Basically, what happens is, like, in, in Linux, if it fails, you can just uh, restart GDM or KDE. Or, 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 or X or whatever. You can yeah, pretty Linux much, is, yeah. It doesn't have yeah. to be restarted. It can live compile. It, in fact, it, you can even, um, I don't know if you can do this in OS X or well, not, as uh, I wouldn't know how. In Linux, if you have a, if you have it, Fail and drop back. I mean, you can even be running multiple instances at once. It's not. It, but app-wise, you know, like if Net, Netscape crashes on you, it doesn't uh, freeze up the entire OS. Yeah, well, that's not what they're talking about, though. They're, they're yeah, you're you're just talking about one application failing. They're not talking about any. But I was talking about if the UI all of a sudden shuts down. You know how window Windows uh, freezes, you're screwed. Linux, you get, you, we'll drop you back to... Uh, yeah, worst case scenario, if you completely over freaking load a Linux box and or crash it, it drops back to terminal. <laughs> and you can tell it to do it things. It drops back to the command. Yeah. Com well, yeah. Uh, what, what, you know, whatever vocabulary you want to use. <laughs> you know, but yeah. But, but, uh, I don't want people to think, oh, all of a sudden, like, you know, it's 10, uh, here comes, like, like, a terminal window. It's not... It doesn't look. Oh no 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 yeah I mean that's basically that's all you have. <laughs> uh, I, I, and and honestly the the first command I teach the average person when they get to that point, you know what? Just type reboot. Okay <laughs> now because because that way at least they're not hard booting and that's uh, I, I mean it, it, eventually they start asking well but how do I do that without rebooting? Oh we'll just type this. Oh uh, we'll just type that and then, and then they start to go oh you mean I can do that? Okay. <laughs> it's like yes you can do that. <laughs> Are you guys talking about this iPhone selling? Well, yeah, I was going to go, okay, so we can go Okay, down. go to the bottom of the notes. There's a there's a thread there uh, right under where it says Linux. It's, just a, it's, it's a weird little conversation. Yeah, uh, it's just dumb. Well, uh, 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 you know what? I, uh, the way this ended, because it went on for a little bit longer, and the way it ended, I can't tell. I, I don't think the guy was just screwing with me. But the last comment was, careful, I may buy you a beer. After we had snapped at each other, like, back and forth for a little bit. So I'm like, okay. Uh, well, an <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, it, it, this guy apparently has subscribed to us. So that's, but, um, yeah, yeah. But it, it, it was just, you know, it, apparently, uh, the, you know, the tone was, you're a liar if you say Linux is stable. You know, I, I don't like OS X, but I'll admit that it's stable. <laughs> it, I, I would say Linux is very stable. I mean, for crying out loud, I've got tons of servers and multiple clients that never really go down at all. Yeah, I, I mean, what, this one computer here, it's not a server, it's just an end user system, but it's been running 24-7 for now 2.6 years. And the only reason it hasn't been running longer is because we lost power for eight hours one night. <laughs> so uh, my battery backups do not last that long. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, that, that and my Mac Mini. 
the only re the only reason why my Mac Mini would go out is it also power locks. That thing stays all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Little thing from two thousand six. I mean, you can get that out of a Windows system, but it's not a typical behavior. I'm not going to say it's impossible to do with a Windows system. It, it, I've never, yeah, I've never been able. To, I, I, I no, I, 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 I did run a Windows system once for 16 months straight, but it, it got buggier the longer it ran. You know. Gee, what a surprise given the file system. Yeah, it, it, it there just you wind up with things that you can really only fix in a Windows system with the reboot. Uh, All right. it, Before we go into Apple, the fun thing I was going to get into before you were talking about the Google Drive was it's time for my wife to get another phone, right? Mm, so we're going to do Verizon. She's going to buy an iPhone 5. Oh, no. We're going to Verizon, and um, so I'm looking at the uh, Droid Razor for her. It's got to run Flash. That, that's a requirement for her. So um, what other recommendations do you guys have? Uh, uh, if you guys are going Verizon, you said? Yeah. But how important is battery life? Length. I don't know. Well, I mean to your wife. <laughs> that, uh, I, know it's the, I know it's a selling point for some people. Uh, battery life, if you're going with the Droid Razor, looking at the Droid Razor, uh, check the Droid Razor Max. It's got a bigger battery. Yeah, I would tend to agree with that. Um, also, do you have a grandfathered data plan on either one of those? You know, it's no, good. this uh, would be a switch from AT&T to Verizon. Yeah. You know, it's good to need to go and try one of the Windows phones, even though they don't have Flash. Uh, no, she, if I were to do that, she'd, just get, she'd really get pissed. <laughs> yeah, that, that would, the, the whole thing is, is that her friends and everybody really make these cutesy, artsy fartsy things that are all done in Flash. A, a, a bit... Uh, As a merch, it's extremely mad, so... Yeah, uh, honestly, of the options available, if she likes the thinness and she likes that stuff, yeah, the the Ra Droid Razor series is one of the ones I definitely recommend looking at. It, it is not... It's a good... It's a, Overall, it's a good phone. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean... If she wants an extended battery life, go with the uh, I don't know if she charges a damn thing. I mean, I don't know if she. Well, and um, I, I believe the Razor well, you can. Charging two ninety nine for the Droid Razor Max. Holy crap! Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's, it's more money. Yeah. It's what not about, the cheap one. What about the the Droid Bionic? Or um, that was one of the first. Oh. I want to say that was. A, it's not a bad phone. I'm not sure how. What about the Droid X2? And I wouldn't get the X2 at this point. Yeah, there was, there's been a lot of update issues with the uh, X2s. Yeah. And supposedly Razor to get the uh, ice cream, so they already. Yeah, get that's why. That's the other reason we're saying go with that one. It's their flagship one, so you know you're going to be good out there. The only other one I would really consider going with would be the Life's Good one, but even then, I'd be a little. Because it. it just, Mm, yeah, I was gonna say the only other one would probably be the Galaxy Nexus, maybe, but that depends on how pure of an Android experience she wants. I yeah, guess. that's well, that's more an iOS -y experience on it. Yeah, uh, it well, which, in, you know what? In his wife's case, that may not be a bad thing since she's coming off an she iPhone. Doesn't, yeah, she doesn't know, but in, she's, uh, you know, she has she has a hard time even understanding how to delete email on iOS, you know, so. Yeah, so a Samsung device might suit her. Um, the droids, uh, the actual droid stuff from Motorola usually tends to be more Google-ish. Yeah. In design, more utilitarian, but requires tweaking. Because hmm. uh, right now I'm on a Samsung device. I went from the original droid to a Samsung, and it's like a night day difference. Yeah, if she likes the if she if she, if she, okay, if she's used to the iOSiness, uh, a good transitional phone for her very well might be the Samsung one, because I, I would expect what, the Galaxy. What are you talking about? The Samsung? Uh, any of the, uh, Samsung has the what they call TouchWiz. Yeah, it, it, it's very iOS in a lot of its features and functions. I see. Yeah. So, so the transit, it would be like recommending KDE 
to a Windows user coming to Linux. Even there. though they're, in the end of the day, nothing alike, it's like that transitional familiarity? Well, the only Samsung devices on Verizon that I see that I just like that are the Nexus, Illusion, Stratosphere, Droid Charge is another one. Charge, yeah. Yeah. The Galaxy Tab would be the one. Uh, no, no, wait, that's the tablet, never mind. Um, there we go. Palm pre for you a bit. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, well, uh, on the Samsung one, yeah, the Palm Pre does run Flash, ironically. But yeah, I, I know. I, I know. I had to, I had a touch pad. I know it runs it right on their well too. Yeah. At least on the touch pad. I don't know how. Yeah, it, it runs it well it, on the phone as if well. She, if she's not gonna freak out from the culture shock, I think your better one to go with is actually the Razer. She doesn't understand. Look, there's look. She's owned the iPhone for two years, and uh, there you could not make the argument that she's used to it or even knows it. Uh, okay, then then don't even bother. That's what I always tell people, you know, this whole shenanigan crap that iOS is so intuitive and all this is, is a bunch of diarrhea. No, I and know, I know that. No. Uh, the only reason I would recommend going to Samsung One would be for that. If that is not the case with her, go go the Razor. It, 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 she, she, she. In the end, she'll be happier with it. Yeah. yeah. So I'll probably just do that Droid Razor. It, it, it runs Flash well. Yes. Um, and well, uh, the only exception I'm, is going to be that uh, the, it, it, it's it, <laughs> no, no. It, the same exception you'd expect on every device. Those what the fuck Flash, where it's just bad Flash. Right. If she gets like an email, because this is the important thing. Okay. She gets an email that opens like one of these fart fluff bullshit <laughs> uh, stuff you ran about. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's just absolute waste of shit out there that's she thinks is just cute as can be and makes little music and oh how is wonderful. Is she gonna care if it if it's a really bad written one, if it does what it'll if it if it does a little more than it would do on a computer, where it, it like it freezes and transitions, or it, 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 it at times is not perfectly smooth. Well, if you're telling me it's a bad SWF, it's a bad SWF. And so if it does that on her Mac and, and it does it on a phone, then well, I'm going to say it would do it more on the phone than it would on her desktop because of the limit, the more limiting resources at this point. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's more of a flash. Yeah, yeah. But it, it will problem. run. It just might run buggy if it's a really it's bad one. Two runs flash. There's, it, I don't have. I just hit. It, 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 that's it. You know, it runs. So, better. I'm on the Verizon site, just plugging. Uh, I'm a Verizon customer, so. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm partly doing this because it's a corporate discount and all this other stuff. So right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. expensive now. Let me tell you. Well, luckily, luckily I'm grandfathered. Yeah. I'm grandfathered. I'm luckily, so. I, I I'm not. I'm wanting to sub, but I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna go to Verizon until they offer a decent plan right. again. Oh yeah, and, I mean, and, and for those listening on on the podcast on it, the reason is Verizon's we have a we have a corporate discount, which is pretty significant, and so we're going to stick with that. And uh, I I know there's probably a lot better offerings. Maybe it's Sprint or I don't know, but who else? Well, no, honestly, Sprint. While they're having a more competitive offering, their network is not the most built out. So you're either in a Sprint area or you're well, not. I guess I could go to YouTube and see Droid Razor playing Flash, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, but that's going to be like an optimal experience. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, we were having a Linux conversation. I don't pretend Linux is perfect and doesn't have any bugs, and you can't ever make Linux have problems. Well, that's bullshit. Linux has plenty of problems. The same thing with uh, a, a high-end Android device and Flash. It's, I'm sure... There's still, even with all the optimizations and improvements that have been made in the last 18 months, I'm sure there's something on the net where it's going to lag. Because <laughs> I know there's a shitload of bad flash out there. Well, I'm not worried about the bad flash. And this is stuff 
Well, YouTube, when I say Droid Razor Flash, it's telling me how to flash custom ROM. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh, you probably might put, want to put running flash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Google and his pickiness sometimes. And, and you remember, we all know that Google has added AdWords. To, you, to video now, which means, of course, you can find more paid, irrelevant search results on YouTube. <laughs> kind of like Twitter now. <sighs> and you know what I'm talking about. You get the same thing in the paid ad. Like, you're like, ah, oh, damn, this isn't even relevant. And it, well, you know, my, my colleague at work owns an HTC Evo, and he says Flash plays rather well on it. No, yeah, no, uh, that's why we're saying the Razor. On the higher-end ones, I would say 90% plus the stuff you come across, fine. Where you're having the big problem today is these little cheapy, like, $50 Android phones. Oh, I got you. No, yeah. I, th I think, you know, I hope she doesn't mind the size. That's my only question. Yeah, because it's a 4 by 4.3, if I remember. And that, 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 does that. It have a great camera, and does it do, like, video and all that good stuff? Oh, yeah, it does that. HD video and all that good stuff? Yeah. Yes. 8 and megapixels records 720p on the front, 1080p for I video. Like, this is what she likes to have the. Really big pictures of the kids and all this good stuff. Yeah, I, I, I have found that. I have found on the four inch thing, it's an either love it or hate it, and they're really. <laughs> she hates taking movies and photos on the iPhone, and I actually defend the iPhone. And I thought it takes rather well pictures. Well, some of the video, I have a YouTube video where I took video, and people think I'm shaking it on purpose, and I wasn't. It, it sometimes. You're with the holding the iPhone, and the video just starts shaking. But I've seen that happen on regular HD camcorders, and I don't know what what if it's a software thing. It's not like not ready when you start moving or. or no, what what it is it is basically uh, modern cameras and things are doing autocorrect, and just the bre the breathing and the beating of your heart. It, uh, in conjunction with other gyrations, it creates too much things. Like those uh, on the those demo videos where they show, and all of this was filmed with an iPhone and stuff. Well, that's an iPhone mounted to a steady cam mount. You know, that is what it takes to get good quality. All kinds of phones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. No. That you know that that would be a problem on the Android device too. If you want good, steady, clean yada yas, you need one of two things. You need a steady cam mount, or you need to run it through something like Adobe After Effects, which uses this crazy smart math algorithm stuff to make it steady cam effect by using key things in the frame to restabilize it. It, it, it. I'm sorry, and you're, the type of processing power needed to do that on the fly just isn't in these devices yet. I'm sure it will come at some point, but that's. That's at least four cycles, if not six, down the road. <laughs> I'm not surprised that iPhones are selling so well. Well, here's here's the well. Go ahead, Briggs. Enlighten us. Who? You said not surprised they're selling well. Well, first of all, Microsoft is supporting them. What the hell does that have to do with? Like someone going into a shop and saying, I want an iPhone. No, it's just that, you know, Microsoft's got their apps all over in uh, I, uh, iOS now. They're in Android, too. I, I, that's the Microsoft business model. We will go everywhere. We will infiltrate, assimilate, right. combobulate. Well, let's, yeah, let's get into Let's go into Apple. All right. Good for Apple. Now they have $110.2 billion in cash in the bank. So that's good. Uh, the... The thing of it is, fucking cookie. <laughs> yeah. Cookie, uh, cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> well, I just do that since it's uh, since their iPad was on the 4G network, and now that the iPhone 5 is going to be on the 4G network. Is it confirmed the iPhone 5 will be LTE? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, officially, no. But let's look at the last three cycles of release from Apple. Technology we're going to put over here, over here. Technology we're going to put over here, over here. The iPhone and the iPad are the 0.5 cycle of each other. That, that, so, uh, and for all intents and purposes, when you take them apart, 
they're all but using the same board. They're using the same development lines to develop each 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 the, to develop the other. So yeah, unless they depart from what they have been doing the entire cycle of these devices, it's gonna be. <laughs> well, they have to because they delayed their 4G network speed for God knows how long. That's the one of the reasons why Apple ended up losing dominance in their sales is because they wouldn't go 4G. And you know, doesn't that just show that basically the consumer will follow the fluff wherever it leads? Because, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, really, where in the country until recently could you really use your 4G phone? Oh, I stepped two feet to the right. Now I'm out of 4G. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've always argued Apple is experiencing uh, being the iconic fashion statement right now. And so, the, hey, that's a very, 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 very profitable place to be uh, while it lasts. Now, the thing of it is, is I don't argue so much against the iPhone as I do with the, with the iPad predominantly because I just know so many people that have buyers more from the iPad. Not so much with the iPhone. You know, people, just, they'll defend it with the games or whatever. Uh, but with the iPad, with the iPad, it tends to be. Uh, you know yeah. what? I'm doing a sociological experiment right now. I told you somebody I I know bought a iPhone, and you know they're having issues. Like we can't call them, and they can't always call people, and their phone winds up stuck on feet, stuck on modes they don't they don't know about, so they don't get phone calls or don't find out about messages or stuff. It, it's going to be interesting to see how long they put up with this, because it's like they, they wanted the iPhone, and it's not, and I, like I said, well, you might be happy. They're like, no, no, I want I'm like, okay. So they got the iPhone, and well, they, they've had the double bill. They've had the my phone won't work. They've had the dropped calls. They've had the it got stuck on vibrate. They didn't know how to turn it off. They've had uh, they've had the you know just they've had the iPhone experience. <laughs> well, I can give you one case study where somebody actually argued with me recently. Recently, this is and I was waiting. I couldn't really announce it until you know because I want to be honest. So I have a friend of mine who argued with me about the iPad. And they said they were going to take it everywhere, use it in business meetings, and it went on and on. And no, I'm wrong. You know, I'm just uh, I'm an old fart. Whatever, all this other crap. Yes, because my <laughs> iPhone lets me play my Angry Birds. I, I, I kept arguing that no, I love technology when it changes, when it go, when it when it moves us forward. Not like my favorite quote from our last show. Not a net reduction backwards. So uh, the the. They went ahead and purchased it, right? And guess what it's doing? They're bitching about printing. It doesn't do this. And, oh shit! You know, I I need to, I'm just using my my laptop more, and it stays at home, and I watch Netflix on. It. So what a surprise! A content yeah, consumption like, okay, device that it was meant to be. Watch Netflix. That's fantastic. You know, well, uh, rather it was meant to be as a debatable point. Well, but. And, and, thing that is, is why did they get it? Because their friends had it, they thought it was cool, they didn't want to be left out. And you know what, that's so true. it's so true that people, when they see their friends having something, it's an exponential effect, i.e. what we call a fad. And, and... Grass they, is always greener on the other uh, side. Alright, alright, I'm getting tired of hearing this, but anyways, uh, we all know Xbox 360 sold a lot of consoles, not as much as the Wii. Right? I don't know. What? A okay. a a anyways, your point? They killed the PlayStation 3. Right. And back when those two consoles came out, the PlayStation 3 was like selling for shit, and the Xbox 360 was selling like hotcakes. And the first thing those customers got, Red Rings of Death, and they had to go send their consoles back. Oh, yeah, no, the but first... They, the first you know, run... Wait, let this out Go ahead, so they got... They still uh, said that they would vote their Xbox 360 over a PlayStation 3 back in those days because they all had new. If you look all over YouTube, you had to have an Xbox 360. Yeah, everybody had to have an Xbox 360. Yeah, and you got left out. And, and you know, that's like a psychological thing, I guess. Just, just you. It, you know what? I must have an I must have immunities because well, yeah, I, I have, have never. I, 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 you know what? 
I was okay with not being the cool kid. <laughs> I really was. I didn't care. <laughs> well, but, okay, let's get back to the Apple numbers so we can wrap it up on, on, on this. So, all right. So basically, the, the iPhone didn't do as well in the United States, speaking. All right. So we know that they pushed seven, they sold 7.8 million iPhones in, in the U.S. from the two major carriers. I'm going to add another million from Sprint because Sprint last quarter sold 1.8. If I'm if I'm if I'm to follow the same trend of, of uh, both major carriers losing, uh, we'll just take the 1.8 and put one million. So they pushed eight eight point I don't know eight point four eight point seven million iPhones. So we have twenty something iPhones, uh, twenty something you know twenty seven somewhere around there million iPhones. Okay, they move in China. Now they they're quarter to quarter they're at a two million net negative. Because they sold 37 million last quarter, so 35 million. But, and I'm not, I'm not speaking. Everybody listening on the podcast. I am, the, I am a Mac fanboy. I just don't like the iOS. But the thing of it is, is I don't also like the Apple pundits. Nor do I like the people that say, "Okay, Apple's going to go down the shitter." I'm not saying Apple's going down the shitter, but I think that there, that there's. A, I don't like what iOS is doing as far as technology is speaking. Okay, now the. Because I believe that we should move the user to technology, not the other way around. But I no, think I dumb think, them down, dumb them down, dumb I, them. <laughs> the thing that I was arguing is, I think we can expect some sort of plateau. It doesn't mean that Apple's going to go to oblivion. I'm not arguing that. I would, I would, I would hate to see that. As a matter of fact, let me just put it a hypothetical. If this were all for Mac sales, I would be an ecstatic person. But it's not. It's, it's, it's iOS, and unfortunately, I, I, having owned three iPhones, I can't stand the damn operating system. But uh, uh, Bob, how much, when do we think the Macs are going to start being discontinued? <laughs> They're not. They grew. They grew throughout the year. They grew, and I'm just happy to see that. So we have 4 million Macs sold, which is year-on-year year larger than the 3.7 million that they did a year ago. So I'm happy that the Macs are doing well now. Tom Cook or Tim, Tim, Tim Cook was saying in, in uh, China that they're moving more Macs via the, the, the halo effect, which is a good thing. Now, China, and I, let me just put this way, I, won't, I have very close contacts that have family in China. So I know how, I have a pretty good inside line on how, what to expect from the Chinese economy. Now, they sold, and Tim Cook was, was heavy on China. Now, Android is by far the number one cell phone over there by, I think, 68, 69% market share in a, a smartphones. Not everybody owns a smartphone, of course, in the, in the Chinese economy, you know, affordability and all sort of crap. And it's not necessarily the cheap Android phones. So don't come at me, oh, it's because of the cheap Android phones. The iPhone does well because it essentially as a premium phone is also cheaper than many Android phones because of the whole subsidy war problem. Now, getting, getting back to China, so if we were to say that a good 20 million, I don't know how many, how many Europe purchased, because they don't, they don't put sales by region. So I don't know how many we can estimate reasonably that came from China, but Tim Cook seemed to have focused on China a lot. So I, and he says it's the second largest market. So if, if, okay. well, yeah. Well, so, yeah, well, but the market. It, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, because your information is probably a lot more accurate than mine. But but the thing with the China market is you have China and then you have China, and yeah, there's basically China. there's that there's that very urbanized, very kind, yeah, very you know, oh, these are our consumers for our product area of China, and then there's the rest of China. Right. Basically, what I what I know from which is what I get from, from, from my contacts is that two percent, two or three two two or three percent maybe max going just under five percent are like this wealthy generation that will have enough capital to keep buying iPhone generation, 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 like we have the Apple Royalists to own three iPads and all the damned iPhones and all sort of stuff. Okay. So but you realize problem. that that is still more people than the US population can find. <laughs> Twenty or thirty million, to be honest. With you. That's that's around that twenty thirty million mark of people. Now, uh, 
the, the thing of it is, is how much of that is Android? How much? How much of it is is iPhone? Because I've been I have been scrambling trying to figure out because we can't get the damn numbers from regions. We know I, I'm not going to say all 27 million came from China. That would be absurd. So I'd split that number in half just to be just to be reasonable um, on on that. So we. You, what we can expect maybe around 13 point something million coming from, from China, which would sound reasonable, I guess. And okay, then, so the point then, is we have China, we have the China. same war going on in China for market share that we have going on here and But what I'm looking at is for saturation point, right? For for, for the iPhone. Because what I know I'm not crazy listening to the other people that bitch about their Apple devices. Okay? <laughs> So, so if that's happening here, you know, you, there is a there is a mathematical uh, equation to things that you can use for projections. And so, what I'm after is okay. It, the iPhone is what? Are we saturating the United States? Or are we going to wait till the iPhone five and the sales go back up? I don't know. Well, you know, okay, okay, okay. So to simplify and get back on quick topic, even if the iPhone sells great. Which I'm sure it will. I'm sure the iPhone 5 was so great. I would argue that largely the iPhone is all but at saturation in the United States and is going to begin its decline, but it's going to be seen very gradually. And I say that because of the type of consumer that is buying the iPhone is the every 18 months, I'm going to go buy the new iPhone. And uh, you know, 18 months to two years, which means it's the same demographic repeating itself. But I would argue it's largely at saturation. It, it, I mean, it maybe has a little bit of growth left in it, but for that to continue, for that to continue, Apple needs to really catch up. Windows Phone, even some of the newer growth in the Windows Phone, which is not much, let's be honest, but they're still former smartphone users. And it seems to be that there is a certain extent. Uh, okay, first off, first off, space. we cannot even weigh the Windows effect yet, and I say that uh, I look at Phone Seven as a as a beta for Microsoft's bid on that market. Uh, we will find out the Microsoft effect on that particular market when the Windows 8 unified push begins, because that is when their actual offering will be on the market. Now, so let's go back and I'll wrap this up real quick. Now, a lot of the too late. <laughs> hey, let's screw the analysts that that gave their estimates. The thing of it is, is that if those analysts had given estimates and blah blah blah, and they were like to say against Microsoft or Android, the outcomes would be the first to say, oh, "Look, look, look." And the thing of it is that look, these an these analysts are a lot of them are are, are, are on the spot, and they and the analyst projections given are on average. So that means there are those that are on the high end and those on the low end, and they took an average. So the iPads missed their mark, and so did the Macs miss the mark, but sadly. But I, I still say that the iPads year over year sold more, and so did the Macs sell uh, year over year. But the analysts, why do they project that? Because they're basing it on trends and growth. So what does that mean? Based upon estimates, okay, so the growth is flattening at that, at, at, you know, from that point. So while, yes, Apple's made a tremendous amount of money in international markets on, on the iPhone, the iPhone represents their single largest revenue ma maker, and probably far easier in terms of profits until the subsidy war gets settled here in the United States. Now, I hear that there are subsidy issues in China as well. So, you know, that, that remains to be seen. But I still maintain my argument of this, this plateauing, at least in the U.S. market. I cannot predict outside... No one can really. I mean, oh, oh, okay. So, you, so basically, Apple is plateauing into a market that's unsustainable, and they're going to use that as an excuse to kill the Mac. Cool. Yeah, uh, kill the Mac. <laughs> no, but it might be like stock products. Uh, 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 okay. Um, Wait, can I put it in this context? Much of what you said that Apple is selling more Macs than. Than ever before. Yeah, year on year. But as far as the trend of growth, it's not. I mean, they made they didn't sell that many more. Decided to be honest with you. 
For instance, uh, I'll be honest, like in, in, in other quarters, they sold more than 4 million Macs, and then it went down to 3.78 million in, in Q2 last year. So they made 4 million this Q2, but they've sold more and I think it was, I don't remember what uh, it was. Uh, uh, on that note, uh, so, uh, so we Apple can... Apple's biggest mistake is that they're mainly just like a... They don't have uh, very many games like Windows does. I mean, No, Windows it's not is, just that. It, it, one of two things is going to happen here with the Mac market, and, on the, and then we'll wrap Apple up and, and move on if there's anything else. But um, the basically, Apple's in the position now where they have kind of plateaued their Mac market, and they can do one of two things. They can continue to do what they've been doing, or they can go, you know what? Mac's not really a big profitable thing anymore. People, the consumer wants appliance devices, so we're just going to kind of become an appliance company, in which case they will start abandoning and tailing off the Mac. And I, the Mac's, I, I, I'm saying one scenario. What, what, the other scenario is they're going to try and maximize revenue on the Mac line, which means they will make them cheaper, crappier, and basically turn them into, they'll still be a computer, but they'll be very much an appliance device. Instead of designed to be coveted, they'll be designed to be thrown away, like the iPhone and iPad. <laughs> hey, you just want... I think Rusty's waiting for the day that I'm like completely Appleless. I think that's I think that's what you're aiming at because the, the single thing that holds me to Apple is, is the Mac for now. I'm just being I, honest I, about I, what the company is and what the bottom dollar is gonna dictate for them to do. I don't want to defend Apple anymore. And the thing of it is I'm gonna give you another front. If Apple comes up with their TV, if their TV has a built in tune that I can record like TiVo and all that crap like my little Mac Mini does, then you're going to have two fronts to, to debate me on. You're going to tell me hey, damn now. I'm, I'm letting you know. No, this, no that ain't going to happen. No, that may not happen. I don't know. Uh, okay, so, all, all I'm going to say on the TV bit it, for Apple is they cannot any way in hell charge the premium they do on a computer. You know it. what? If it was anyone other than Apple, Bob, I'd agree with you. But it's no, no, Apple. No, 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 no. They can Apple. make the little Apple yeah. lemmings do whatever they want. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand. Apple did come up with a gaming console called the Apple Pippin. We know. Because it was at six hundred dollars. Yeah, but that was different. That was before the new Apple. <laughs> Right. No, it's pretty much the same thing. But anyway, anyway. nobody buys a con gaming console past six hundred bucks. I'll Look say this: the PlayStation Three. <laughs> beyond, beyond whatever, Apple is seeming to make devices that people want rather than need. You know, Windows, Windows, for all the shit that we hated them for, pretty much made within business things we needed rather than wanted. Now, if Apple loses the fashion statement, what is there left to need in their product line if they, if they have been in the Mac? And I think that's just, you know, they'll, they'll still have a following, but, when, but it, it, of course they're, they're going to they're be marginalized in the end, and the fashion statement doesn't hold. So, okay, so they still make money, so they can still survive, but <laughs> you know, tree items tend to be very extreme in their ups and downs. I'm just telling you that. And the iPad, the, and we can get in the tablet section real quick, which is more of our, because uh, Russ and I had fun. I don't know if you guys... I just think this. Apple's going to just release iOS on into, to, into the basic PC market. Right. That way they would uh, really take over the desktop. Well, well what, what I'm, what I'm, what, here's, here's the other caveat. To, do you realize that Apple's created another uh, a legacy problem similar to Microsoft? They have so many, and I, I, I don't care, you can flame me, El Cheapo developers that, that, um, that basically make these turnkey things that are rapid. Uh, A bit. They, are you telling me that you don't need to code is biting Apple in the butt just like it bought the web yeah. industry? Oh my yes. God! Well, that's changed platform because believe me, if tablets are really to be taken seriously to like move forward, in technology, they're going to have to add all the complexities back in there. 
And I can guarantee you all these El Cheapo turnkey people are not going to be interested in keeping up. And that's going to cause a legacy issue with Apple. I'm just telling you right I now. I bet they're already not interested in keeping up. One of the biggest complaints about the iPad 3 is because of its higher resolution and the El Cheapo developers that are not optimizing their things for this higher resolution. That basically, I mean, all my apps look like crap it's, now. your apps that are usable, in, in essence. I mean, and this is going to be a problem. And, and, and it's fine for people to say, want to argue. Look how many people have been able to make money. That's true but at the expense of technology, and you, being the Apple user of old, used to argue against Microsoft. Well, no, and, and, and honestly, but those type of developers on which they've built that house of cards, they don't give a shit at all about that problem. They're like, I already got my money. Why do I care? Right. <laughs> So, I got my money. I got I got my bird money. I licensed my birdies. They're doing good. They're making money for me. I have them in the spacesuits now. We is good. We got our bird money. <laughs>